Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing a legendary Iron Man difficulty. <clears throat> Today we do have a very, very special mission. It is time to liberate East Africa once and for all. We're going to go into Operation Black Rose, which is going to uh, remove the um, entire alien uh, faction from East Africa. However, we have only infiltrated at 100 and not 200%, which means we're fighting against almost 50 enemies. Probably even more than that. But good news is, we do have quite a good squ uh, squad at our disposal. Matter of fact, the A team is here Fury, uh, the Templar, Sirkim, uh, the Ranger, Ranvin, the Assault. Our sharpshooter is going to be Haywired, Dark Tower, our technician. We got Nasty, a really good gren Grenadier. We got our Skirmish and Reaper, Outrider and Harbringer um, for further fire support. And we got Edgar Allan Poe to back up the team. And last but certainly not least, Roby as a gunner uh, for good measures. This is going to be a pretty, pretty tough mission. Expect that we're going to have multiple uh, kind of sessions on this, I would probably say the next four hours are going to be this mission and this mission only. I'll try to keep it as short as possible um, to improve the viewing quality. Let's go guys, let's go. Infiltrate and, and we have landed. Manus 1-5, infiltrate and kill every single contact. one. That is going to be a banger mission guys, I can already see it. So we got a nice little <clears throat> door in front of us. For those of you who have witnessed the last time that we dealt with the door, we're going to do a pretty similar trick. We're using the door to our advantage. Got a tower over here. I could swear this is almost feeling like a deja vu from the last mission. Two towers up here. Okay. I mean, we can deal with that. Not a big problem. I think this uh, is how, how we played it the last time. Let's go one after the other. Dark tower. <clears throat> Could use some half cover over here. Renman, we definitely need to get him inside. So probably over here to then sprint in and out. Roby takes full cover mainly for um, for suppression and overwatch. But you know what? We can send him just a little bit further to the front line. He's beefy enough. Hayward, our sniper. I mean, we need a good position. And this is probably not bad. <coughs> she treats half cover as full cover. And this is an excellent angle. We hit almost everything, plus we can grapple if needed. Fury. Takes a position here, so we can sprint in and out. Harbringer, that's a great question. Let's position him here and essentially really use the grappling hook to our advantage. Zirkin will get one of uh, the top spots um, to be able to take shots. Edgar Alien Poe. You know, that's a great spot, generally speaking. <clears throat> I'm wondering if he should stay here just for the commanding abilities specifically the incoming ability 
Yeah, let's do that next turn. Essentially move him here. And our Grenadier will take the other front spot. Steadying our weapon. And now, there will be a lot of alien activity, guys. Good, surprisingly fast. I was expecting that it would take longer, but that's okay. We got two towers so far in our vision range. That's pretty much about it. See him takes. You know what? Let's take him. Uh, let's let him take the spot over here. Nasty takes the spot over here. Good. What are we doing with Roby? Hmm. I mean, I like the full cover spot, no question. Haywire can treat half cover as full cover, so might as well position him here for now, which frees up this position for Edgar and Poe. And we are slowly but surely moving forward. Ooh, okay. So mutant patrol plus a couple of other enemies. Uh, let's be careful for now. We don't immediately want to waste our concealment. We're not in a hurry. We don't need to move anyone further, not at the moment. So what we can do is simply have a nice little overwatch here. Steadying the weapon whenever necessary. By the way, what's our chance of hacking it? Relatively low. Okay. Okay. Next turn, we're going to open the door. All right, nothing happened. Really, no movement whatsoever. We can see that there's one pack over here, and that's pretty much about it. Let's shortly open the door to get a peek. And ironically enough, there is no one behind the door. Not yet. There's another door over here. We're going to get to that in a second. Pretty sure that a lot of the structure here is going to be removed sooner or later. For now, we're closing down the door. I've decided to essentially hunt down both of these towers first. There's no downside in starting with a little bit of a uh, little bit of tower destruction other than losing our concealment but that's okay at this point i feel that we have a very solid position and we can essentially start so two towers reactors Taking a few shots. Well, 
Yeah, let's just use our sniper. Probably going to reskill her as well to get rid of double tap and instead uh, just use uh, increase uh, the base damage of the sniper even further. Good. We are going to Overwatch. Not much happening right now. We got two down, 48 to go. I should have steadied her weapon though. All right, nothing happened again. So we already know, due to target definition, that the enemies are right behind this next door. Course. The question now is, shall we just lob a grenade? Ah, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. If we were to remote start though, that would hit a few of them. Yeah, of course, assuming that they are standing right next to the door. <coughs> you know, one thing that we could do... Could try to open the door. And then move back out. Fury is pretty good in doing that. Hmm. Let me think. I would like them. And we know they are positioned like here and here and here. So at least one, two, three, four of them. Yeah, so at least four of them. I'd like to open the door. But I think no one is fast enough to just run there and straight up open it. The advantage if we could open the door is they would definitely take positions behind here. And we can use remote start to start killing them. We could grapple all the way up to here and essentially surprise them. That's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. We might pull another pack, but that's okay. We have a pretty solid position. And there we go. Got another tower and a pigeon on the rooftop. Great, so. Yeah, let's not get uh, too far ahead of ourselves. Can definitely support with a nice little aid protocol and just for shits and giggles let's see if we can take over the tower which would be hilarious 50 50 great we might pull another pack with it but that's fine okay 
Okay. So far, the Archon pack is not pulled. Matter of fact, so far, nothing here is pulled. All right, moving into a flanking position. And for whatever reason, we were only grazing him. Okay, let's see if we can still manage to kill this guy. So this should be a hundred percent kill, yep. And since she has Silent Killer, there's no chance for her to be revealed, which is good. Makes it easier. 29 hit points. This guy is beefy. All right, pulling out the trooper. Good. Um, let's think about how we're going to deal with him. Um, we are in a pretty solid position. We could flashbang him. Uh, that seems a bit extravagant. Given that we actually have the stronger position. How about we simply move out of line of sight? Which sounds like a really good idea to me. And instead we're just going to overwatch here. Moving into full cover. Another overwatch. Roby's overwatching. Steadying the weapon here. Got another overwatch. And for now I would just overwatch. We don't need to um, give away our cover yet. By the way, I should have killed the guy over here with Fury to already provide him with uh, some uh, focus. That was a mistake. Gotta get him online as soon as possible. Alright, the mutant starts developing his personal shield. And that's currently pretty much it. A couple of drones are starting to move in, which now also means we're getting company. Uh, we're getting more company. Okay, nothing that we couldn't deal with. Matter of fact, all of it is pretty straightforward.
The mutant is definitely a great case of using a grenade, right? So I would like to try that. Moving to designated coordinates. Nasty moves up. We should be barely able to hit him. Come on. There we go. That should at least shred him, take away some of the personal shield. And if we're lucky, the cover is going to be removed. I figured that pack was already triggered. Apparently I was wrong. Well, one thing's clear as smut. The tower is going to die very, very soon. Okay, well... Newton is still alive. Moving out. And he has one of these positions. Where you have no real good angle. Super beefy, and even in half cover, hard to hit. I'm wondering, like, if we're positioning ourselves here, what kind of enemy would we see? Oh, one of the drones. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Hmm. The mutant is causing me some headaches here. This here would be a good, really good position. Problem is he's still in cover and I wish we could remove that. But it appears that that's non-destructible cover. We are positioning Roby a little bit better over here. Yeah, and we only got the drone plus our own tower. We could grapple up to some of the positions using the high ground. Um, yeah, I think we're not going to do that. All of this here is still so far away from our main group, and I'd like to keep it that way. Our main problem is the pesky mutant. Can we get on top here? No, we can't. Well, there is certainly a problem. We can't take him in melee. And he has a really nice position there. It's 
probably one of uh, those situations where you just gotta accept that there are no real good shots and simply pump uh, pump in a lot of shots into the mutant. See, yeah, uh, it's not necessarily destructible cover that's the problem, but we anyways need to shred him. So the claymore is not the worst idea. Let's make sure we're being fortified against him. Reload. And let's see if we can remove the cover. At least the shredding had worked well. Claymores usually destroy a lot of cover. Yeah, finally, we got the cover removed. Okay, so that was crucial. Which means now we can do what I wanted to do earlier. Now we'll come back to that in a second. Let's first of all see if we can get him down. Not get him down, but we still got a couple of extra shots, so no need to panic yet. Could put Renvin all the way up to here. We got untouchable and emplaceable. I think that's going to work. Okay. So, starting to damage the drone. It's good. Almost down. Continue to harass the mutant. Run and gun, fortify, moving all the way up to here. Move, move, move. And let's kill this guy, come on. Bam, 17, good job, Renvin's a beast. He's also untouchable and unplaceable. Let's get him into full cover to here. Good job, buddy. All right, double tapping. Let's get the drone down. Well, we don't want to kill our tower yet. But we can do an overwatch, that's fine. Fury can almost reach this guy. But almost is, as you know, not good enough. So we're going to stand right behind the door. Making it easier for us next round to kill something. And I'm wondering if this here could be a good position. Essentially up here. It's not a bad position and we can reposition, we could even reposition up here. And that's actually a better, even a better position. Full cover. Taking the high ground because the door play this time, there's just not, there are just not enough enemies to play with the door. Might as well take out the other drone. We don't necessarily need an emplaceable. We're fine for now. Edgar Alien Po moves a bit further to the front line. Come on 
Yeah, and the uh, real question also is what should Roby be doing? It's probably not a good position to be there. Or p putting him into a better position to activate him. And let's see what the other packs are doing. There's definitely an Archon plus a Viper plus another Soldier and a Tower. Yeah, spit, spit on the tower. Great AI. Really well done. So two Vipers. Okay, we killed two towers. We hacked the third one. Killed two drones, that's five. Killed a mutant, that's six. Two um, advents, seven, eight. Eight down. All right, Advent Tower killed. And we're back in the game. Good, eight kills so far. Which is fine. We haven't really expended a hell lot. Okay, shields are removed. This is our chance. Fury is moving in. And we're getting the first focus. Good job. Positioning ourselves in full cover. Does anyone here have grenades? Probably not. Only blazing pinions and that wouldn't be a problem. The reason why I'm asking is I want to make sure that we're not being hit in um, high cover, uh, in, on high ground, just, just because the AI loves to use uh, grenades once you are standing in high, high ground. Moving up. Making ourselves less detectable. I will go. I know where you are. And there is a shield bearer. An enemy that we haven't seen uh, seen before. Well, we've seen the enemy, but we have not seen that shield bearer before. And I'm wondering if it's a good time for repositioning. Probably the answer is yes, to be honest. We're moving Roby further to the front line. I like the idea of popping a shield bearer. Nice hit. Very nice hit, to be honest. I'm fine with using teamwork. Obi takes a second shot. And that'll take care of all of the shields. We saw shield removed here, here, and here, and here, which means it's tower, the second viper, um, the other um, advent, and the archon. Bravo. 
All right, getting our sniper into a better position. I think this one here is fine. Gives us pretty decent aiming angles. Setting our weapon for next turn. Nasty moves up here. Gotta be careful, we can't stay that close together. Probably need to use Fortify. And position ourselves in front of here. That's far enough away so that a grenade wouldn't hit both. Good, we gotta catch up. Well, that's a lot of damage down here. If you say so. Getting a bit closer to the front line. Edgar Allan Poe can still stay down here. When did it go reduction of potential, uh, reduction of potential explosion damage for everyone, just in case. Then Roby needs to get full cover. Yep, there we go. That's the only one not in full cover so far. Yeah, I'm, I, I think we're fine. All right, momentum is available. Bringing us to here, into full cover. Another overwatch. So we got two overwatches. I will watch. Two overwatches. Target no place for you to go now. Blazing pinions, yep. Yeah. I knew it, I knew it. It's always the same. Yeah, no surprises, to be honest exactly what I was expecting. The AI played it very predictable. Good. Which means we gotta deal with this guy here. We do not have run and gun, uh, run or gun, uh, run and gun. I wouldn't think that anything of that rooftop is going to be left over at the end of the round. So first and foremost, let's draw out all of the overwatch shots. Old lightning reflexes. Yeah, 
Yeah. Not a good round for uh, for Renman. He can't really do anything. We're moving all the way back here because we gotta deal with the Archon. Rapid fire worked pretty well here. I would say we're trying that again. Another rapid fire. Keep it going. 94% missed. Yeah, we're not going to use the rocket launcher. Not yet. We got death from above. So we could kill the Viper down there. But we could also grapple further in, which I think is what we might want to do. Not too far. This over here should be fine to deal with. The gentleman down here, the elite trooper. Nice little shot, nice little crit. Come on, crit again. Unfortunately, we didn't. But that's fine, we can finish him off with fury. Let's continue dealing with the Archon upstairs. We are going further back. Eighty one per cent. Let's hit him. Well, that would be an option. We got one way or the uh, or another. We got to deal uh, with the Archon, and he's currently one of the biggest threats. Unfortunately, they do not only have like the super high resistance, but essentially also the extremely high dodge chance. Was hoping that we might be able to to hit him with a uh, with a flamer, but that's probably wishful thinking. 
too far away even with expanded flaming range. Um, 35%. I mean, it's a 80% chance to stun him, and since we can't do anything else really, other than throwing a flashbang grenade, might as well go for that. Okay, that's good. It'll at least solve our issue with dealing with him uh, this round. All right, double tapping. It's one down. That's two down, and now our death from above allows us to move away, which is much needed. Over here it seems to be a good position. Getting our next focus. Good, and that brings us to the tower, which we might just trick into thinking that it can attack us. Let's get some loot. So the tower will take the best shot, which is against Fury. And if we can just uh, make him parry, that would be nice. The other option is simply killing the tower, which I think we do not have enough actions left over to do that. On your order. You know, let's take a look, maybe we can. Harboringer over here had 100% chance of hitting it and was shredding it like a monster. So, free reload. And time to say goodnight. Because now it's going to be 100% kill. Nice one. Moving over here. Right, okay. And let's just parry. That's fine for now. So, we killed eight before. Killed um, a shield bearer, that's nine. Killed two additional um, advent down there, that's ten and eleven. Killed another tower, that's twelve. Killed another viper, that's thirteen. And the Archon would be 14 at, as the current count. No one took damage, which is great. But like I predicted, there isn't yeah, much left over from the rooftop. And that Archon is still incredibly tanky. Alright, Zirkin takes a shot, kills it. it. 
and let's move him into position. We're pretty clustered up over here, which is never good. So I would like to suggest that we're taking new positions. Good, nasty. Takes position down here. And we'll continue to scout ahead. Dr. Noxus. Yeah, that would still cluster us, but Renman is going to charge in anyway, so might as well take the position up here. We're just going to take some cover for now. Reloading. And that was just a bare beginning, my friends. It's going to be so much more painful. Yeah. And probably this year is a good cliffhanger, to be honest, to end our first uh, session. I mean, we've done well. We've done well. Uh, we haven't really used a lot of consumables. Some of uh, the bond abilities, uh, but that's really all we have used. The map is still massive. In 50 minutes in, we've killed, like, what, 14, 15 enemies? which means we're barely a third through the map. The um, other difficult packs are still to come. But on the other hand, so far it's a flawless mission. We haven't taken any damage. So I guess that's on the good side. And we have, by the way, a wonderful remote start over here. If this is, if there are enemies around us here, that's going to suck, I can already tell you that. It's going to be a gigantic, a ginormous explosion, leveling the entirety of uh, that map. Cool. Good. Thank you so much. If you enjoy what you are seeing, don't forget to support the channel and hit the like button up or write a comment down below. You know how the YouTube algorithm works and I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.